Hi there, today I'm unboxing a 7 inch display by GeekPie. It's actually, the screen resolution is 1024 by 600. It's a HDMI screen with an LCD display. It comes with a driver board monitor for a Raspberry Pi. So let's have a quick look around the packaging. It's very plain, nothing anywhere on there. Let's open it up and have a quick look. Go. First of all, looks like power power lead. Okay. Next, we've got a ribbon connector. Looks like some boards and the actual screen itself. It seems. Get some. Open this up. Okay, just to show you, very, very slim display on this. Wow. Okay, let me do a, a close up on the screen itself. Just a bit of an aluminium finish around the edges here. We've got a ribbon here. I'll work out where that goes. I guess it's probably on the board that comes with it. There you go. Feels very light. Um, probably a good thing to mount in something, you know, like a case or something. So let's see what else you get. Okay, so this looks like board with controls for it. That's quite good. And then let's see what else. It's quite tight this one. Okay. Okay, that's an interesting one. So you've got your power on that one, just there. You've got your HDMI, VGA, and that looks like sort of a phono connector. So there you go, you've got your connection points on there. So obviously this ribbon obviously connect these controls onto this board and then it looks like the ribbon there probably just connects up here. There's nothing else with this packaging. So let me have a quick play around with this and then I can show it being connected up. And then I can show it actually connecting to a Raspberry Pi. So as it has these displays, we'll also test it out on a computer and see if that works as well. Okay, so I'll show you how to actually connect the screen up now. So we've already started some of our project work on this. So just put it in a cardboard frame. That's not really relevant for this video, but I'll um, show you how to connect it up next. So you've got the board here and let me give you a close up of this. Some different connectors on this. So the main one we're concerned with is this one here and there's a little flip thing just to enable you to secure the cable in place. The other one is this cable. So this one goes just over here. So if I carefully put that in place, one of the pins is just slightly bent there. So I have bent it back into place but let me just try to be very careful with this. There you go, that's gone in quite nicely. So the other end of this goes into the other board that comes. So this one just has different controls on there. So the screen is really more of a project -y sort of thing and it is actually like a monitor, exactly like a monitor. So there you have the first two components connected together. Quite a long cable here, so if you wanted to move things around, I guess if you did set up a little project for this, you could have, for example, perhaps something like that. And you could have the controls coming out of the side, for instance, you know, so it is like a little mini monitor. Okay, so that's that. Now, connecting the actual ribbon 
I just slot that in like so and then push that down, that locks it in place so it's quite firm. It's quite tight. So as you see here, <laughs> movement's limited. So really, I guess, fitting this, you'd have to have it in that sort of position to get a good, comfortable fit with it. And perhaps this could go just so we don't mess around with stretching the cables in a strange way. That could go something like that, or maybe even somewhere like that. So that's fine. So there you go, that's it all connected up now. So we'll probably put something uh, plastic or something when we do this, just as if the pins or anything like that gets warm, don't want any sort of fire hazard with this. It's a plastic or metal, not, not metal, sorry, what am I saying? <laughs> metal might even short out the pins or the, or the actual board. So just something to just keep it off and um, just avoid it getting too hot. Okay, so that's that. So that's now ready to be powered on. So if I flip it over like so, um, and put the, the power in just there, there you go, it instantly turns on. So I've, I wanna do a few tests with this just to show it. So the first one is, let's see if it works with a, a Chromecast. Like I say, it is a monitor, and there you go. There's the Chromecast, plugged in. Let's unplug that. And get my HDMI cable. And the next thing it's plugged into is a, is a computer. So a laptop. Okay, you can hear it, finding it, and there you go. It's actually found it, and it's mirroring the screen. So, open up notepad for example quality is pretty good you see the resolution um, if I can bear with us okay so on the laptop itself the resolution 1920 by 1080 so it is coping with a 1080 resolution which is pretty pretty good you could that sort of confirms you could plug anything into the device okay so while that's in I'll just click some of these buttons and show what it is so that's the off it looks like yep come back on next one menu Okay, let me go back. We just hit it off. Okay, and that one is a brightness. That one must be back. Yeah, that's back. So I can cycle through the menus. And just to show you the options you have, brightness, contrast, contrast hue, saturation, color temperature, there you go, reset, display ratio, 16 by nine, which is good. So it's um sort of widescreen. Go back in there. Language, horizontal position, vertical position, OSD timeout, transparent. Uh, there you go, sleep, blue screen, sharpness, mode. And it's got a speaker icon there but there's no speaker built into this. Okay, and the main reason we got this was for the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so let's plug it in to a Raspberry Pi. There you go, Raspberry Pi is powering up. So this isn't a touch screen like the previous one I showed. Um, and the good thing about this is is the fact that it is a monitor, nothing more. 
The other one was a bit more fancier with his touchscreen options. We didn't need touchscreen for this particular project we're working on. So this is a RetroPie project we're going to be doing. So hence why we went for this. So it is a very nice monitor. Um, it's good, it's got the, let me show, different connectivity options. You've got HDMI, VGA, and S-Video there. And it's quite interesting that it comes with a board like this. The fact you can actually control the, the screen resolutions and the options, so just like, an, just like a standard monitor, which is very impressive, really. So there you go. Our first impressions of this, very impressed, um, pleased with the purchase, you know, and the fact it has this flexibility of being able to make your own sort of case and, you know, your own sort of flexible item here. So might even use this with our CCTV. That's what I've tested it out on as well. So you could literally um, build a panel on a wall and just sort of put this straight into it. So if you had, for example, a plaster boarded wall, you could cut out a, an area in that and this could all sort of slide in there. And you could even have, for example, even the connector points and all that, and just have an easy access where it can pop off and you can make the adjustments. So this could all be hidden away and you just have a, have a panel on the wall. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Thanks for viewing. And don't forget to like and subscribe.